All right, everybody, let's do it again. Eric Sarah from Server 57 coming back at you today. Uh, I'm going to give you some first impressions on the new division match that's up. Uh, there are some awesome things and some things that uh, I don't particularly like about this. Um, the nice part is, I mean, for all those people that enjoyed dueling, and uh, there was really no reward for uh, what you were for any of those duels before. Well, nice part is, is now uh, you get you get uh, rewarded. <laughs> 150 honor points for winning, and I think 50 for losing. So um, that is uh, a ton of honor points, and you get honor points for the first 20 matches that you do in the day. Or so I've heard. I didn't count. <laughs> I think it's 20. So it's kind of nice. And uh, it will make honor points a little uh, less important. But they did add some things to the honor store, is what I saw. Uh, now, one good thing I like about this uh, matchup system is that... It kind of, it, it doesn't have all those bonuses like you have in Merit, so it brings everybody a little bit closer together and gives you a little bit more of a, a, a better matchup at least. It wasn't so outrageously uh, biased towards VIPs. <laughs> But the thing, one thing that I don't like about it, uh, if you see I've started at the bottom here of the arena every single time so far, but um, the person that starts at the top of the arena can't see the person that they are matching up against right away. So that puts them at a huge disadvantage. You see how I can't see who I'm fighting right now? I mean, they, they could have put the camera angle out a little bit so that each player could see the entire arena. I think that would have been better. And uh, the matching system itself is... I think this is actually decent in comparison to some of the other PvP... Um, Right now I'm a little low, so I'm going to be winning quite a few of these battles here, but... Um, because I didn't play so much as uh, some of the other people did the other day. Um, so, yeah, all those people that... Uh, that enjoyed duel dueling in the past and had a lot of practice dueling up to this point have a really good advantage. Um, there's no outside influence, it's just 1v1. What's up, dude? Yes, I will get you some food here as soon as I'm done making this video, okay? There's Mr. Doom. I like him, he's pretty cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, if we go into the honor store up here, um, we can see that they've added some things here. The relic source fragment, the blessing stone, the small power stone chest. Uh, those things were all added to the honor store, and it would be much easier to buy those things. And, and the nice part is, for those people playing DM now that that uh, didn't have a way to make a whole ton of honor before, actually have a way to make quite a bit of, bit of honor pretty quickly. So it will be much easier to get that red gear over here, and also combine that red gear. And um, later on, after we've we've done got uh, we're, we're done getting all of our red gear up to level into their 50s, and two of them, I think there's there's two of them over here that are also 
Mm, I could be wrong. What, what were the ones that you needed scrolls for? Anyway, I thought there was a couple of them in here that you needed honor points for the scrolls. Where did they go? Yeah, here they are. Uh, for the leggings and the artifact scrolls, you needed 24,000. That was, that was tough to wait for right there. So after you've gotten those up to level 60, um, then you can get your fashion gear right here, the glasses, the jacket, and the gloves, or what have you, in your own personal character. Uh, so after you're done buying all of that stuff, uh, which will be a while, <laughs> you can decide whether you want to buy relic source fragments, blessing stones, or a small power stone chest. Now the power stones are what you get when you uh when you play eternal fantasy so i would not recommend buying that you get way more just from playing eternal fantasy it's not really worth twenty-eight thousand by any means uh honor points the blessing stones that may be worth it i will have to see as we go along the blessing stones are used for the holy wings over here if we go into growth so for each one of those we use um, goes up so then you have to determine whether the price you are paying for one of those blessing stones are worth more than 200 jewels and I just don't see that right now I think the jewels are worth way less because my wings are almost to level 9 uh, so I, I think I'm gonna hit that level 10 and then I'm gonna focus on growth for a while with my jewels uh, because I'm still buying my fashion, I, I have one of the three fashion uh, out of that honor store. Where did I go? Let's go back into honor honor store here. And the relic source fragment. So the relic source fragment we need for um, our for relic in here. And eventually, we will need to get those relic source fragments to open up Thor's hammer, etc. As you go along. And I think they will be worth buying in the out of that honor store, honestly. But we are nowhere even close to maxed out on my Sword in the Stone and the Holy Grail right now anyway. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. I think what I'm going to do once I've gotten all my fashion is I'm going to continue buying a bunch of these uh, Magic Card Fragment Packs and just level the crap out of my cards until they're almost maxed out and then of course switch over to the relic source fragments and then from there i think i would go to blessing stone unless once we start leveling up that those wings with jewels and it turns around where i think 200 honor points is worth less than 200 jewels i think at that point in time it would be safe to go ahead and start buying Blessing Stones. So it's all the value you have to ask yourself. All right. So that's that's it for that. I think uh, I didn't really have much to say about that division match. It's Like I said, it's nice for the people that have been dueling and practicing dueling because they will have a leg up on some of the other people around. Um, not so quite so nice for uh people that are uh physical players uh the hunter and the the sword master because of the fact that um the enchantress and the gunner have a real leg up here especially if they get the bottom when they enter because they can just one shot because the other person can't can't even see where they're at so they can just one shot them and be done with the match so that's it uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below, ask a question, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.